Hi, welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. Uh, we've done a video on how to actually produce a padlock when it comes in a locksmith form like this, where it's got pins and springs and things like this, but we actually haven't shown you how to rekey one of these padlocks. Um, if you want to change the key or if there's a problem with the padlock, so I'm going to show you how to actually open up to get to the chamber where that you can actually change the key combination. Uh, from there, you put in some new pins and you can reseal it. Resealing it, um, quite easy you know, refer to our other video on how to make one of these padlocks you can buy little pins just little tiny pins I know you can't see them they're little brass pins with a slight chamfer on one side so once you finish re repinning it you put in your top driver pins and then you hold the springs down and you pan in these little these little uh, plugs and they are pretty small but you can buy new ones they're just little pins if you can see that there so I'm going to show you how to actually do that. Let's say that you get a padlock like this. Uh, this one here, something's gone wrong, so we're not too sure. We're going to have to drill it open. The side is the side where the top of the key is, not the bottom of the key. It's the top of the key. So from there, we need to expose those chambers, which I'm going to do. Those chambers there. We're going to expose them. And then from there, we can actually re-drill them out. Now, with my uh, drill press here, I use a big magnet, I've got my chuck key on the side, works really well. I've got myself a block of wood, I've got a couple of keys, I've got a pick, I've got a center punch, some vernier calipers. The size of the drill bit I'm going to use here is, zero that down, 2.84 mil. Okay, we need uh, safety goggles, of course. Now, normally I'll be using a lot smaller hammer, but can't find one today. So I'm just going to use this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start to tap to reveal the actual chambers. So I'm just going to give this a slight tap just to... So from there I can start to see some very small circles. And those very small circles are exactly what we want. What we need to do now is get a center punch locate each and every one of them and give them a tap. That's the first one done. You can see the indentation. Second one. On this one there's five, but you can get six on some padlocks. And the last one, if it's a slightly lighter padlock, can be the retainer for the barrel, which you don't need to do. So we've got three so far. Four. Tapping them all the way down, so you don't want to tap them uh, too far, you only really want to lightly tap them because all this has to come out. It's got one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, one. Step two, let's drill them out. Okay. okay, let's hope the camera will hold in that position. Okay, so now I need to line it up with my mill. Make sure that's actually clear. With a nice straight hole. Safety goggles on. We need to find the center. I'm fairly happy with that. Actually, one more process. We put the key blank in, lift everything up. Once you feel that push through, it means you're on the other side of the plug. Turn it around, give it a tap. And you can see the little cap is still in there, but that's okay. We'll come back to that. Let's go for number two. Just lining it up. So 
So that was a good one. The first one wasn't so good, that was a better one. There's the cap right there that we've drilled out. As you can see, well, you can barely see it, but we've drilled the majority of the cap out. Now the pin is exposed. So, okay, winding down. That's fourth and fifth done. All these brass and all the little crumbs we're going to have to get out before we start repinning it. Looks pretty good. I heard that little give so basically when you get to the bottom of the cap or that plug starts spinning you'll feel a little bit of give so you'll have resistance up until that stage and then you feel that little bit of give and that's as far as you need to drill about the pin, pins and springs are all going to be replaced. Just checking that's lined up. Okay, so we have all five drilled out. Now you normally knock them on a block of wood there you can also use a pick as well try and push them out might actually have to redrill these a little bit some of them didn't uh, didn't go all the way so I've got one chamber clear and the other ones still need a little touch of the redrill. Let's just uh, touch them up. how we're looking at the moment okay go back to my block of wood I took the key out that time now I can use the key to jam it in there to um, push them all up where's my hammer Yeah, that's what we're looking at. Uh, so we've got two chambers clear and two that are not clear. I might actually grab a small size drill bit. Normally this uh, goes a little bit more to plan than this. Okay. Alright, small size drill bit might drill a little bit further. Normally they should have been out, but it's been 10 years since I've done this. Back to the drill. Okay, so we're up the first. There's that plug that right, wants to come out. I picked it up now, I've just got to drag it out with the drill bit. There we go. And uh, third. There we go. I think we're all clear now. Tap, 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 tap. Pins are going everywhere. Still the first one. Something's wrong with the first one. There's that plug. See how it's see how it's actually pulled the plug out? That's what we're after. Could have used a smaller drill bit from the start. Now I get my key blank in, I slide it in there, I put a light source on it. 
I can actually see it clearly, but um, you guys might not be able to. So I put my key blank in there, or I can shine light in there to demonstrate it. See how you can see all the way through? It means all those chambers are now clear. Okay, so now it's a simple matter of keying a backup. So there's our padlock, we know that's clear. Here's our, here's our key and our plug. So then we pin it up. Now this padlock is master keyed, which gives a little bit more of a problem. So we now, we now know that's good for the first combination. But we want a second combination. Which means that we have to now use some master pins. We're going to be using number fours, and number fours aren't the easiest to get sometimes in, they can roll around and stuff, so we're going to be extremely careful when we're putting them in. Yep, there it goes. This allows us to achieve two combinations in the one lock. Okay, now we have all our pins, we have our padlock, we know the chambers are clear. So I'm going to remove my key, make sure there's no other pins in the way, and we're going to go one by one. So that's the first one. These are those fours. I'm going to have to push that in, make sure it goes all the way home. So just going through one by one. Transferring them into the padlock. So I know without a doubt those number fours are not going to be sitting properly. So I'll grab something to change that. So here is my uh, drill bit I used earlier. I'm just going to push them down. I put my key in. Push them all the way down. Check if they're seated properly. Okay, so the first combination is seated properly. Now if this turns, we're good to go. Yep, and it does. So which means those fours are all sitting down there. I'm also turning the key, looking straight down the barrel, and I can see um, there's no master pins sitting or floating around. <coughs> so we're good. Now what we need to do is add some driver pins. And for this you can use top pins upside down. I'm just using number seven pins. Proper driver pins often on these type of uh, locks have more of a chamfer on the edge, so it allows for a little bit more tolerance. But for what we're using for, should be okay. Now the next thing we want is some graphite. This is where I like to lubricate the lock, right in between the pins, so it goes all the way around the pins. But that's up to you. I find it makes it easier and a smoother key on this type of uh, on this type of lock. Now we put our pins in. Show our springs. They do sit up quite high, but that's okay. Now, before we cap it off, we're going to test our key. Working good. Working good. Okay, now let's go back to capping it. Okay, before we cap it, I'm just going to get rid of some of this uh, swarf. Okay, that's better. So for this one, I'm going to be using a flat blade, a screwdriver, a hammer, and those capping pins we spoke about. Just a couple of those pins. That should be enough. Now many people have different techniques of doing this, this is just the way that I like to do it. I find this quicker. Some people push them in with a vice. I wouldn't advise that. Uh, they don't seem to get that amount of panning action. Yep, there goes one. Now remember this uh, padlock has been re-drilled so 
before we start we're going to pan these out a little bit further this will just make them fatter okay good to go so I put it in the chamber I hold it in there I use a flat blade just like that just to tap it in you can also use a dome hammer afterwards to kind of pan the top of it out it is pretty tricky to get them to sit in there Oop, there it goes there's a bit of scarring on the brass but hopefully we'll be able to clean that up now and it'll be an invisible seam okay so this is the last part I'm going to be finishing it off to look like this so you can't see all those holes and circles so we're going to use the linisher sound very happy I'm gonna to have to readjust that so as you can see now the seam is all completely sealed you cannot see it to do this you go straight so you sand that flat part then you give it a little touch little touch ends up being like this let's grab the keys now let's see if they work here we have two sets of keys that will work we have the standard key which we give the customer that works fine I like to turn it upside down with the pins down to make sure the springs are long enough and they are pushing those driver pins in okay then we have our master key this one it's turning quite nicely so there you have it we have change combination on the standard brass padlock and it's ready ready for use Okay, thanks for watching.